hey guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new well, welcome you guys see the title it says she is wrong for this now we're gonna watch this video you guys are gonna tell me what you guys think is she wrong is she not wrong like what's happening she knows she wrong for this camera recording yo everybody got a ring bell a ring light what's it called a ring camera ring doorbell camera I see, I see, I see, I see. Damn, she left, left. She took off. I'm trying to catch the end when he's staying inside. Dad, did you guys catch the end? What did he say? Okay, so clearly that was baby daddy. And she was dropping the baby off. She sat there, she rang, rang, rang. At least she waited until he came to the door. And she didn't just ring, ring, ring and run off and leave the kid there fending for herself like, who's gonna come get me? But he opens the door like, oh, you know we have stuff to do. Which tells me that she was hitting him up. Like, hey, maybe it's your weekend, you should take your daughter. You need to see her, it's time, I need a minute. I gotta go somewhere, I got something to handle. You need to see her, you haven't seen her. And then he hits her with a, you know we got stuff to do? What in the world is it that you gotta do that your daughter can't be there with you? What if you had kids in your home? What would you do with them? Would you leave them in the corner? No, you work your schedule around your kids. Now, I don't know if I personally would ring down a, my baby daddy's doorbell and ditch the kid like that. Only because the kid is the one who's like feeling this feeling of nobody wants me. You're ringing down a bell running, and he's opening the door like, what you doing here? You know how that feels? That has to feel gross. That has to be very disappointing. Like, abandonment issues loading 101. I think that as much as she may want a break, need a break, of course you need a break. I don't care how much you love your kids, you do everything for your kids, but you are a human being. And those kids don't give a damn. You need a break. You need a weekend, you need a day, you need a few hours. But not everybody even gets that. Some people really have no help and can't get that day, can't get those few hours. And yo, you made the babies, you gotta thug it out. It's really that simple sometimes, you gotta thug it out. If he doesn't want the kid, do you force the kid on him? I don't know. I think, it, is he a good person? It's, it, well, if he was a good person, he would really want to take a child, right? It wouldn't be an issue. She wouldn't be overworked, overstimulated, tired, and feeling like she has to go ring down a doorbell and abandon the kid if he was a good person. So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, this is not a woman versus man thing. This is just a really, uh, women need a break. Fathers need a break. Um, but do you put a kid in the middle of it in a sense of having them feel a way like that? How do you explain that to them? Like, ringing down the doorbell and then she's standing there like... That's kind of that. I think she has to feel sadness because now she's walking into a house where he's clearly talking ish and he's saying we got stuff to do. That means you got another girl there. And I'm sorry. If you got another girl there, that means that you put your, that girl and whatever y'all got going on above the kid. Period, period, period. And that's not okay. So at the end of the day, the kid is the one who's suffering here. And I think if whoever has primary custody, whoever's the main provider, has to really think about that. How is this kid feeling in this situation? And it may suck for you, you may be tired, but you have to put that aside for the well-being and mental stability and emotional wellness of the kid. You know what I'm saying? That's that's how I'm thinking about it. Like, if anything, if you if it's about needing a break, needing a day off, you're gonna have to get a babysitter. You know, find your best friend, auntie, an uncle, a cousin that you, you know, somebody that you trust to leave your kid with to get you the break. If it's about the kid, about making the kid spend time with daddy, making daddy spend time with the kid, I, there has to be a better way to go about it because this is this is a forced dynamic that might be filled with animosity and very uncomfortable for both parties because it's like, you don't want me here and you I don't want you here type of situation and we both know it. I don't know how that helps the child, especially at that age. She can tell like, I was kind of forced on you and she will never forget that. 
this is a tough situation. I was reading the comments and they were like, listen, I don't give a F. You the daddy. If I gotta ring the doorbell to make you spend time with her because at the end of the day, the kid does need to see their father. And um, sometimes they don't care however they get it. There are kids who wait by the door three, four, five hours waiting for daddy to come and they are so excited no matter how long they waited to see him. And vice versa, waiting for mommy. Do you force the other parent to see the kid in that way where the ch child can definitely feel what's going on? Ding dong ditch is what's going on right now. <laughs> like, you drop the kid off like an Uber Eats order. I don't know how to feel about this. Like, I watch it and like, I get both sides. I can only think for, in the child's perspective, like, this has to suck for her. And this is gonna always suck, cause this, that clearly is not gonna change. This is a ongoing situation of daddy don't want to see you. Now it's like, do you not, do you not feel a way about mommy and what she did? Like she kind of just threw you out there like, peace. Like I understand what she's trying to do, but just maybe the method, there has to be a better way. In my opinion, maybe. Is there? Let me know. <laughs> like, this is confusing. Cause they say, yo, this is you the father. And if I know that you will care for her, she's not gonna be abandoned, she's not gonna be starved and left in a corner. Yeah, I'm dropping her off. Especially if I know your schedule, I know your home, I know if you have any plans, it's not a job, it's not work related, it's not life or death, you can you can work around the kid. I'm bringing her to you, figure it out. Spend time with your kid, talk to her, get to know her. I, I, I can see both sides, they both make sense. You understand what I'm saying? The reasoning for it makes sense. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below because I'm confused, I'm perplexed, I'm all over the place. I don't know how to feel about this. But this was hilarious. If anything, Here's the thing, right? The child is already there. What is he gonna do? Grab you, stop you? I just stood there, rang the bell, wait till he come and said, she's staying, bye baby, I love you. And then I would've ran to the car. At least, you know, I'm dropping her off officially. He could say whatever he want. What he gonna do? He could argue all he wants. I'm still walking back to the car. He's not gonna come grab me. He's not gonna come yoke me up. He's not gonna come stand in front of the car. He's not gonna take my keys. He's not gonna do any of that. You know, maybe she could have, you know, kind of stood her ground a little bit more. At least try it out. If that didn't work, then okay, maybe I will talk to the good daughter. Like, listen, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna make this work. You're gonna see your daddy because you know he's a little stubborn. He wanna act a little funny. So we're gonna see him, and this is the plan. And you know, she'd be like, all right, cool, 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 cool. So I'm gonna spend, like, I don't know, maybe something else would work. Like, if she were in on it and she understood, all right, you about to run, I'm about to go in, but like, yo, daddy, ba ba, we here, let's, what we doing this weekend? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I thought this was funny, but I also think this is very damaging for baby girl. But the way that woman ran off to the car, I was dead. Like, that was too much. But I don't know, the father kind of turned me off. Opening the door, saw his child and said, you know we got stuff to do? Like, mm, get out of here. Get out of here. Whatever you gotta do, you gotta go to the market, you gotta go shopping, you go into the movies, you gotta date. She can go too. She likes all those things. Those are all fun. They all sound great. It sounds like a good time. So again, I say tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. And I will see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Bye.